Hello and welcome to Music and Mission. My name is Cyprian Concilio. I'm a Camaldolese Benedictine monk from New Camaldoli Hermitage, coming to you from Big Sur in California. We'll start with a prayer, but I'm used to chanting prayers in our tradition, so let me offer you this one. These are actually verses from an old song of mine, but prayers in honor of the Trinity. Creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call you. May our lives proclaim your goodness and our voices sing your praise forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the true light of the world. Give us courage, strength, and grace to build a world of justice and peace. And may the light of your Holy Spirit dispel the darkness of our times. Turn our darkness into light, our hatred into love, and our wars into the peace we so desire. Amen. I'm going to offer to you two songs today, a new one and an old one. The new one is called Faithful Servant. I'll tell you something where it came from. My own father was diagnosed with COVID-19 in January, as hundreds of thousands of people in our country and millions around the world have been. And as it started to look like he wasn't going to make it, he's already close to 90 years old, we were talking about his funeral, and my mother informed me that my dad had left instructions that all my music should be sung at his funeral. And I suddenly realized I didn't have things that were really that appropriate for a funeral. So I decided to write something new for the occasion, and especially in honor of my beloved father. I had seen a priest friend of mine do something beautiful at funeral liturgies, right at the end at the right of committal. He would lay his hand on the coffin and he would say those words from Matthew 25 and the parable of the, the servant and the talents. Well done, faithful servant. Enter the joy of your master. I thought that was so beautiful. So I used that as the inspiration for the refrain. My father was a hardworking man, but also a very humble man. So then I used verses from Psalm 131, in addition to other things. Lord, you know my heart is not proud. And that beautiful image in the middle of it, my soul is like a weaned child at its mother's breast. That gorgeous maternal image of God, resting in God. We not only sang this for my dad's funeral, but I was actually able to sing it also at his bedside as he lay dying, which of course was a sacred, beautiful moment for me. So I'll do that now with a little bit of remote help from some friends, the song Faithful Servant, and dedicate it to all those we've lost in the past months and years, and to all those who mourn as well. See how 
now is silent and still is my heart Like a child at its mother's breast Yea, like a nursling sad in his heart Even so my soul at rest Well done, faithful servant Share in the joy of your master Faithful in life, faithful till death, enter the rest of God. Long have I waited to meet you, my God, and today you bend down to Song in my mouth, strains of praise and jubilee. Well done, faithful servant, share in the joy of your master, faithful in life, faithful till death, enter the rest of God. In your presence abundant joy You will not leave my soul with the dead Your beloved in decay Well done, faithful servant Share in the joy of your master Faithful in life, faithful to death In the rest of God In the rest of God Enter the rest of Especially during this period, I've sensed this need of songs of consolation and hope. I spent about 10 years on the road between 2002 and 2012, and that was one of my main motivations even then. I wanted to be a presence of light and hope. Those are the words that kept coming to me, light and hope in a world that was so full of darkness and fear. A mother I met in Washington, D.C., who was about to send her son off to war in Afghanistan. The parents of a young man who had suicided. People caught in the middle of sectarian turmoil, religious turmoil in the Mideast and in Asia. Quite often that work went hand in hand with teaching or leading people in meditation. Leading people into that silence that precedes words. The silence that even proceeds the word itself, the second person of the Trinity made flesh in Jesus. There's a beautiful saying of St. Ignatius of Antioch. He says, there is only one God revealed by Jesus Christ, his son, who is his word sprung from silence. That beautiful silence of God. If our music and our prayers would have any depth to them at all, we need to find and experience that silence from which they spring. One of my great mentors was the great liturgist and musician, Father Lucian Dess, and he used to say, the quality of the music you make must be at least as good as the quality of the silence that you break. And that leads to this other song, How Can I Keep From Singing? I know so many other musicians have done their arrangements of this. How could you not? It's kind of like the amazing grace of musicians. Everything about this melody, of course, but also the text is so beautiful and rich in biblical imagery. My favorite verse is the last one. The peace of Christ makes fresh my soul, a fountain ever springing. 
besides all the other images of staying calm in the midst of storms and the tyrants trembling and the tumult and the strife and earth's lamentations, this idea of the peace of Christ as a font within me, so attractive to me. In some way, it sums up everything I've ever wanted to do in my own ministry. Discover that font and lead other people to discover it. I take it as an allusion to the seventh chapter of John where Jesus stands up in the middle of the festival and he says, let anyone who's thirsty come to me, let all who believe in me drink, and springs of living water shall flow from out of the believer's heart. And John tells us parenthetically off to the side, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. What an amazing thing that the Holy Spirit would flow from within me. That's like turning the gospel inside out. St. Paul says, the love of God is poured into our hearts by the Spirit living in us. This is the whole point of Pentecost, to discover that font of life-giving water in us, who is the Holy Spirit. It's that which we need to find and realize and experience if our lives are to be truly transformed body and soul by the spiritual life and to turn us into spiritual people as well. And so with that in mind, this old beautiful song, How Can I Keep From Singing? Life flows on in endless song Above our lamentations I hear the real old far off hymn That hails the new creation No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing Through all the tumult and the strife I hear the music ringing It sounds and echoes in my soul How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? But though the tempest round me roar, I hear the truth it liveth. Though the darkness round me close, songs in the night it giveth. No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep? from singing When tyrants tremble sick with fear and hear their death knell ringing When friends rejoice both far and how can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm 
well to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing Peace of Christ makes fresh my soul A fountain never springing All things are mine since I am his How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing How can I keep from singing Thank you for joining us today for Music and Mission. And let's pray that we could find that fountain ever springing that would make fresh our souls through the peace of Christ. And pray too that we could be a sign of light and hope, a sign of unity and peace in our world. Thank you. God bless. Amen.